Now we're going to check back in on the story of Suzanne Morphew. The Colorado mother vanished on Mother's Day three years ago. Her husband Barry has been charged with mur had been charged with murder, but he's now suing prosecutors after they dropped all charges last year. Ariel Reshef has an exclusive interview with Morphew and his daughters. Good morning, Ariel. Good morning to you guys. Barry Morphew says his life is ruined. That $15 million civil suit accuses prosecutors and law enforcement of lying and withholding evidence, focusing only on Barry Morphew and humiliating him. But authorities tell us they didn't drop the charges because they thought Barry was innocent. They felt they didn't have enough evidence to convict without Suzanne's body. This morning, demands for justice for Suzanne Morphew. Three years after, the Colorado mom mysteriously vanished on Mother's Day in 2020. Authorities believe she is dead, her body never found, now officially classified a cold case. Somebody um, in this community needs to keep her name out there. Suzanne's husband, Barry, initially charged with first-degree murder and tampering with evidence, but those charges dropped just before his trial. Now Barry and his daughters Macy and Mallory are speaking exclusively to ABC News, claiming his life has been ruined by false accusations. What have these last three years been like for you? Very, very sad. Very confusing. Just so traumatic. Like literally our worst nightmare. <laughs> Did you have anything to do with the disappearance of your wife? <laughs> Absolutely not. It's very hurtful to lose your reputation and your integrity. Barry filing a $15 million civil suit against prosecutors, the sheriff, and several investigators. So I know that $15 million is a huge number, but I don't think that, in my mind, that covers any of the damage that's happened to Barry and the girls. I know he's innocent. And if they would just look for Suzanne outside of where they hypothesize Barry could have possibly buried her remains, they could find her. His daughter's standing by him. You never had a shred of doubt once you heard the evidence from law enforcement against your dad. I've never had a shred of doubt. Not one. Prosecutors say at the time they believed that they were close to finding Suzanne's body and dropped those charges against Barry, hoping for additional evidence. Authorities tell ABC News they still believe Barry Morphew could be involved in his wife's disappearance and aren't ruling out future charges. Law enforcement, the DAs, believed that they had their guy, and they believe that there's a mountain of evidence against you. There's just not Suzanne's body. They're wrong. They're, they've got tunnel vision, and they looked at one person, and they've got too much pride to say they're wrong and look somewhere else. These charges were dropped without prejudice, which means if authorities feel like there's more evidence, they could charge you again. Do you live with fear of that? Well, I was innocent the first time they arrested me, so I'm sure it's possible. But I don't have anything to worry about. I've done nothing wrong. Was there any indication before she disappeared that something was amiss? No. Did you observe any fights, arguments? disagreements between your mom and your dad that concerned you before? No. Prosecutors offering texts which appear to show a strained marriage. Suzanne referring to Barry as Jekyll and Hyde. And just before she disappeared, telling Barry, I'm done. Suzanne confiding in a friend. Macy and I had a very tough talk yesterday. She's weary of the tension here. She knows how he is toward me and almost begged me to divorce him. He's still pulling Mal in. But Barry and his daughters deny the marriage was in trouble. We had a wonderful life, wonderful marriage. She was just so loving and giving and such a good mother. Before her disappearance, Suzanne fighting cancer. And I know that she was going through chemotherapy for the last couple of years before her disappearance. And I know she was going through some hard things and made some some uh, bad decisions. What kind of bad decisions? She was, um, she was really having trouble with the chemotherapy and the drugs. Investigators also say she was involved with someone else. When you found out that Suzanne was having an affair, what was your first thought? My heart was broke. My heart was broken. I didn't believe it. What's been the hardest part? Just not having mom. Yeah. 
not knowing. It's really difficult, especially because of the lack of closure we have. And Barry Morphew has moved out of Colorado because he says the public and media scrutiny has been too much on him and his daughters. The Chafee County Sheriff's Office and DA Linda Stanley both saying they cannot comment on pending litigation or on ongoing investigations. Bottom line here, guys, Suzanne is still missing and no one has been held accountable. So many questions. Just really intriguing, Ariel. Our thanks to you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.